I don't have enough tea for this. I have half a mug of lukewarm tea. And I thought it'd be okay, but I'm not happy with it. I'm gonna have to change this. I'll be back in a minute. That's better. Look at that. Proper steaming cup of tea. Yes. Whilst I was downstairs, I found this in my kitchen. It's just a leaflet for Elliot and Co. estate agents. It's an apple that when you cut into it is an orange. Refreshingly different. I'd be annoyed if anything. I chose an apple. I wanted an apple. And I'd be kind of annoyed if I bit into it and found an orange because I didn't want an orange. It's not refreshingly different, it's annoyingly different. I might write to them. A little bit tired at the moment because I went out last night for Halloween with the cast of Les Miserables and I dressed up as Carrie from the horror movie, which you guys are instantly gonna think, that's genius. Never thought of it before though, did I? I've been called Carrie for 22 years and never have I thought of being Carrie for Halloween before. It's a little bit embarrassing that. So I have been tagged in the zombie apocalypse tag by my lovely friend Emma Blackery. She was wearing a zombie themed t-shirt in her video. Now I don't have a zombie themed t-shirt but I do, I do have this t-shirt. It's, it's a pig, a flying pig who says the time is now. So I just thought zombie apocalypse, we're all gonna fight back. The time is now. The day is here. One day more. Na, 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 na. You can take the girl out like this. I didn't even expect that gag. That kind of just happened to me. I was possessed by the demons of Les Mis. Okay, let's do this. Which three YouTubers would you have in your team? I would have Emma Blackery because she's feisty and I reckon she'd scare a lot of the zombies off. She also plays a lot of video games, so I reckon she'd know a lot of a lot of tactics for killing zombies, like where you have to stab them or which limbs you have to cut off. Do you have to do that to kill a zombie? Is that how you kill zombies? Clearly I'm gonna die very fast. I'd also have Pete Bucknell, Pete's Jams on YouTube, because we went horse riding not long ago and whilst he was on that horse he was given a sword and I just looked at him and thought, you'd be good in battle. You look comfortable on that horse with that sword. I'd, I'd trust you to win, to win a war for me. Also I reckon in a zombie apocalypse there'd be a lot of downtime where, where you're hiding from zombies and I'd need someone to to quote Disney at me, because that's what happens when I get bored. I just need, I need my Disney fix and I reckon Pete would be the one to do that. I think I'd also want Jack Howard on my team. I know he loves movies. I know he must have watched loads of horror movies or loads of zombie apocalypse movies. And I just reckon he'd know what to do. So yeah, Emma, Pete and Jack. I reckon, I reckon that's a solid team. I don't know what I bring to that team. Or maybe I could explode zombie heads by singing as loud as I could. We are in the realms of fantasy here. The object immediately to your left is your only weapon. How screwed are you? Extremely. If this is as good as I get for a weapon, we ain't winning, guys. If you were a zombie, who would you want to bite? Is that kind of like a revenge kind of question? Is that like a, I, I bite them because they annoyed me when I was a human and I want to make them be zombified? Or is that like a, I like this person enough to bring them over to my side kind of thing? Or is it like a, is it a sexy thing? That's weird. I'm gonna say Celinda, Schoenmacher. She's Dutch, she's great. She's been in a couple of my videos. We did a cover together. You should watch that. Here it is. It's really cool. I'm really proud of it. But yeah, I think I'd bite her. Just because I, I, I don't know, I feel like I want her on my side. What would your survival plan be? I don't, I don't have one. All right now. I reckon, okay, okay, all right. I reckon Sainsbury's. Head to Sainsbury's. That would be a really good, or just any supermarket, any big supermarket. Because that way, we've got food, We've got loads of hiding places. We can like shut ourselves in and barricade the doors with all the shelves. That sounds like a plan to me, doesn't it? We'll have weapons as well because we can use all like the kitchen cutlery and stuff that they sell in Sainsbury's as a weapon. I swear I've not been sponsored by Sainsbury's to say that. It's just the shop that my family shop at. It's the one that came to mind fastest. What would you do if your parents became zombies? Is this like the choice between kill them or let them live? I mean, if they pose a threat to all of the humans on Earth, then... I'd either find a way to like lock them within the house so that they couldn't get out because at least then I know that I've not killed my own parents I've given them a chance at zombie survival in some way but I'm also containing them so they don't pose a threat to everybody else but at the same time they're not really my parents anymore because they're zombies oh I'd kill them do you want the zombie apocalypse to happen? no of course I don't 
Why, who, who would want that? Oh, didn't Emma say Luke wanted that? He's weird. I don't think it's as glamorous as the movies make out Luke. And even then, they don't exactly make it look glamorous. It's all rotting flesh and blood and guts and brains. I don't want that. I am going to tag Gary C because I think he's a little bit squeamish. So I just like the idea of watching a video of him envisioning a world where there's lots of blood and guts and gore and what he'd have to do in that situation. That's kind of evil. I'm really sorry, Gary. Enjoy. I'm also going to tag the two members of my YouTube zombie apocalypse team who haven't done the tag, which is Pete and Jack. I got my November Carrie's Book Club box early because it's my box. I'm allowed. And it's freaking awesome. It's the best one yet. I mean, I chose all of the stuff so I knew what was in there, but still I opened it and got really excited so I really hope you like this one. Also currently working on the Christmas box for December so if you want one of these boxes go to carriesbookclub.com to subscribe.